Hello all, we at the Tiger Media Network hope you're doing well. I'm Jackson Webb and today I'm joined by a Tiger that knows his way around the golf course. This FHSU athlete comes to Hayes from just east down I-70 where he graduated from Seaman High School in Topeka, Kansas. While at Seaman, he competed in football, basketball, and golf. For golf, he qualified for the Kansas State Tournament three times and finished in the top ten twice. As a senior, he was named to the All-City Team by the Topeka Capital Journal. Since starting his golfing career here at Fort Hayes State, he has competed in over 20 tournaments, finishing finishing in the top 25 seven different times, highlighted by a first-place finish at the Bethel Spring Invitational last March. Today's Tiger isn't Tiger Woods, but he's the next closest thing. Bryce Callen, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Jackson. It's good to see you as always. Thank you. For our listeners, Bryce, can you tell them just starting off what your major is and what your plans are after college? Uh, I'm a business management um, major here. Uh, Plans after college, um, plan on getting my MBA, uh, master's program here, and eventually move back to speak after and uh, hopefully start my own business. Been taking some entrepreneurship classes, so I guess we'll see how that goes. Awesome, man. You spend a good chunk of time here in Hayes, you know, your senior. Uh, What can you say have have been some of your favorite moments and favorite memories about Hayes and also going to Fort Hayes here? Um, I'd say some of my favorite memories would be um, making just a lot of friends freshman year, coming in, um, not knowing too many people, um, just getting to know the guys on the golf team, the other sports teams, um, and also getting to know the professors really well. Um, more than just a student um, professor level, but more of a friendship and talking to them about other than um, school stuff. So that's been uh, really cool to see. When you were in high school, were there a few other college options out there that you had in mind, or did you always have your heart kind of set on Fort Hayes? Um, I mean, obviously, um, being from Topeka, Washburn was always there. Um, Went there, visited, then Emporia with just my family being there. Um, they didn't have golf, so that was an easy decision. Um, yeah, a few other schools, but just when I stepped on campus here, my visit was awesome. I got to experience a football game, um, talked to a couple of professors, and just after that visit, I, I knew 100% I was coming here. We like to think here at Fort Hayes that we have the best Cowan family athlete in the conference. Uh, we, you got two brothers at, <laughs> at Emporia State and also a sister can you talk about them real quick and let the let our listeners know uh, all your family members at Emporia? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, my brother's friends joke with me all the time that I'm the best athlete in the family, but I think we know it's not true. Um, yeah, my older brother Dalton and my little brother Reed, both are playing football at Emporia State, um, and they love it there. They make me look like a midget, but it is what it is. <laughs> and uh, my sister's a freshman there as well, playing soccer and She's about the same size as them, so I don't really look like the older brother to the, my little brother and sister, but I guess I am, so, yep. You guys talk about, I mean, growing up with, with so many athletes in the family. How yeah. was that? You know, you guys just get, get together at family gatherings. You always got sports going on. How was that, with especially with two brothers pushing you to be a better athlete? Competitive is definitely the one where there's lots of wrestling matches and fights <laughs> that happen on the basketball court and out in the yard playing football. Um, so now just being able to compete against other guys that are my families a lot better than, uh, having to draw blood with family members, but definitely learned a lot from each of them. And hopefully my little brother that learns a lot from that. Now he's able to compete against guys his own age and not a lot older than him. So we talk about your time as a seaman Viking real quick, Bryce, you not only played golf in high school, but you played basketball and football as well. Besides golf, which one was your favorite? Man, I I, I love football. That was probably my favorite um, senior year. That was a tough one, knowing that would be my last last game. Um, But just going in, I love basketball and football, but I kind of knew I wanted to play a college sport and just kind of had to work with kind of what I had. And uh, golf was the best case scenario that way, so stuck with that. But I sure miss uh, those other sports and the contact because – that was the one thing that I miss the most is golf's not contact, obviously, and just kind of competing and talking, talking trash. <laughs> <laughs> You've also, you had your success in golf and talk about your golfing career in high school. You made it to the state tournament three different times, which is super impressive. You're one of the top players in all of Topeka. Looking back on your high school golfing career, was there a highlight moment that you had or a favorite memory? 
Um, favorite memory. Um, probably my sophomore year. Um, taking top ten at state, first year going. Um, pretty stacked class and uh, first year playing varsity and really throughout the year I wasn't playing that great and so it was pretty cool to be able to play good at the right time um, and play up with the with the top guys as, as a sophomore. Now at Fort Hayes your, your stats are looking better and better by the, by the season. Uh, how do you feel about your golf game right now? Um, it's, it's trending in the right direction. Uh, hopefully getting better by conference but you know you learn um, stuff every year you got to learn from your experiences and that's what I try to focus on I mean you're gonna have bad rounds good rounds but it's kind of how you bounce back from those and that's where I've got better mentally from when I was a freshman play one bad round the next two probably end up being the same but now just kind of learning and maturing um, is really what I've seen that's helped me out the most that's good and golf is such a tough tough game and the the big question about golf is we got driving chipping or putting we got to know what your strength is and what your weakness is right now <laughs> um I would say driving the golf ball um is probably my strength um and putting and chipping probably um I would say a weakness and that's kind of what I've been trying to grind on this year because I mean if you're putting and chipping well uh you really won't have too high scores without you hit it College golf is really busy, especially when you talk about you have tournaments both in the fall and the spring, and then also you got to balance that with school. So how is that kind of juggling all of those three things? It is. It's very difficult, um, and like you said, balance um, is definitely something to key on. Um, big thing is get to know your advisors and um, being proactive with all the big assignments and schoolwork and not putting that off. Uh, so I've got better at um, – talking to my advisors and working with them, knowing them and letting them know at the start of the year, hey, I'm going to miss um, Monday, Tuesday of every week, and I'm going to have to stay on top of this, work with my team. So it is difficult, but you got to risk and uh, sacrifice some, some time to uh, allocate to school outside of golf. Over all the years that you've been golfing, you've played at so many different courses, and, and here at Fort Hayes, you guys travel to some pretty sweet places. Do you have a couple of favorite courses that you've played at over the years, especially here within the league? Yeah, I do. Um, we've had conference at Shang- Shangri-La, uh, Monkey Island, Oklahoma, right there on Grand Lake. So that's that's been my favorite course. Um, I've played it a bunch of times. I have some relatives that live down there, just cool resort course at like I said, we've had conference there the last two years and got to play there um, two weeks ago. So that's been one of my favorite tracks. Always have a good time there. If I play good or bad, it's hard to have a bad time. We talk about there's there's so many you know great golfers out there. We talk about Tiger Woods earlier, Phil Mickelson, all those great guys. And, and you being from Topeka and you have Gary Woodland right there, is he your favorite golfer being from Topeka or do you have a favorite golfer outside of him that you kind of model your game off of? I would definitely say Gary, just being Speaker native and being able to see him speak at some events in Speaker. Um, obviously, Tiger Woods, look up to just kind of his thought process and just how he um, goes about his way on the golf course. But um, I would say, so Jimmy Walker is kind of a distant relative of mine, and that's who I kind of uh, saw play um, when I was a freshman in high school, saw him win on the PGA, and he's kind of who I've uh, looked after, asked him for some advice. So he's been he's been really big in my golf career. That is awesome. Uh, for the listeners at, at home right now, you get to be the coach right now. So if <laughs> we got listeners that haven't golfed before or are looking to get into golf right now, what would you advise to them? What would, what would you coach them up on? What would I coach them up on? Um, I would say just get out and play and have a good time. Um, have a positive outlook on it. It's a frustrating sport, but – Go out with some buddies. Um, don't be too hard on yourself because you're not going to get it right away. It takes years and years. So, yeah, I would say just have a positive attitude about it and go have fun. There you heard it. Thank you so much, Bryce. We hope that, that golf and class continue to go well for you and that you have a great semester. Uh, that was senior golfer Bryce Cowan. And if you guys ever hit the course or need some help with your stroke, he's the man to call. Thank you so much for listening today. That was a Talk with the Tiger podcast with Bryce Cowan. And as always, go Tigers.